What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Made with Matt and today we're going to be designing an onboarding UI set of screens. So it's really simple. It's just three screens. They have images, they have text, more text, some little bubbles here to tell you which page you're on, some buttons, previous, next, and that's about it. So let's play this Figma prototype. And here you could see save time by tracking your studies. Cool. Next. Stay on top of your education. Love that and spend t more time doing the things you love. Who wouldn't love to do that? So let me show you how we can design this. Now, the first thing I did is I went on to dribble and I found some inspiration. So this is my inspiration here, these three screens and really simple screens. I got the inspiration for this little button from here, but basically I kept these open and went back to Figma and created just a very simple frame. So let me create a iPhone X. I'll put it on the left here so you could see what it looks like. And we're going to rebuild this one. Now, the next thing I did is I needed to find an illustration. So for that, I went to icons eight illustration. I looked up outside and education and I got these three. So let me copy that and paste it and throw it in here and then but beneath it, you could see that there's this SVG. And basically to make that, I created a rectangle. And then with this rectangle, I'll make it a bit smaller. With this rectangle, you could double click it, gets you this grid line. I don't know exactly what it's called, but then you click this tool here and you could go around and make some shapes and make it curve really nicely like this like that. So you can make some waves, you can make circles. So basically I just played around with it until I got this cool little background thing. So we'll just copy and paste it in here, place it below. And there we go. So already we have our background really simple to do. Um, and now we'll add some text. So let's just click T we'll say save time by tracking your studies. And here I'll make this, what size did I put? I put 24, so I'll make this size 24 as well. Uh, open sans, we'll put bold. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna make it 30 from the side. So this is holding down option key. You get to see those distances. And 30 on the right side as well. So that's gonna be there, 30 and something like that. All right, I mean, good enough. So we've got that, shrink it a bit. Okay, center it. And now we'll set up another text for schedule your classes, assignments, quizzes, and more. Now this one's gonna be similar distance from the other one up there, change the size to 14. I think that's what we had it at. And just make sure it lines up perfectly. Good. Change the color to lighter gray. And we'll do semi bold. I think that should be good. Yeah, looks pretty good. Awesome. And now we're already done the picture, the titles. Uh, it's a bit off center, but all good, I'll fix it up. Now these little things are straight up just circles. So we could just do it like that and we'll set them to 10. Now we'll play around with the color to make it look like this color here. Um, but what I had done is I think I took something in here, one of the primary colors. I'll just copy this one so it's exactly the same, but I fully just took this Figma tool to get the color uh, and went here and now we'll make three of these, one, two, three. And these two, we're gonna want them to kind of be, you could see it's a bit more, I guess a bit more gray, these backgrounds. And that's cause this is at 50% and right away it looks better. So that looks good. And what do we need next is this next icon. Um, so let's type that out next. We'll put it somewhere like 30 from the side, make sure it's aligned. Cool. Um, and this one is going to be some sort of blue to say like, hey, I'm a button, click me. 
Um, and we could actually make it the same color as this because that is blue. Nice. And let's move this down a little bit with the rectangle so it all looks aligned. Amazing. So we're done the first page and the other two pages are fully just copy pasted with switching up a bit of the text and the picture. So let's do that quickly. So now we've got all three pages down with the correct text and image. Uh, but one thing that we are missing is the previous button. So let's copy and paste this next button. Make sure it's 30 from the left and we'll do prev, prev, however you want to pronounce it. And we'll set this to black like that. Copy it and paste it on this page too. Um, and we also need to change these little dots so that the one that's actually active corresponds to the page we're on like that and turn this one to 50, this one to hundred. Oops. Okay, cool. So we've done these three pages and now we're going to go do this page with this. That's different. So let's copy this one and paste it under. That's sent all the way there. So let's bring it down here. And all we're going to need to change on this one is here, this button. So first off, this should say done. So let's change, th change that and up here done. Um, but to build this, all we're going to need to do is have a rectangle. So let's get a rectangle down. This rectangle will make it 25. It's 15, let's do 25. So it looks nice, cool. And we'll give it a fill. We'll give it a linear fill so that it has a gradient and it just looks a bit, uh, bit more interesting. So we'll start with a color, say something over here and end with something here. Um, and it'll look better, I think, if we make this a bit darker, kind of looks a bit more futuristic. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty similar to what we have there. So let's go with that and drag done right back in, change its fill to white and boom, there you go. It's that simple. So we fully just redone exactly what you saw here. And now if you want to add animations to it or uh, what we saw here, how you could click through, click next, it goes to next, next. Then what you could do with Figma is you click prototype and you drag from next to the actual next page. So this is going to act as a button like that, like that. And we could do previous goes back, previous goes back. And there you go. Now, if we click play on this, now we could see, click next, click previous, next, next. And that's awesome. And we go back. So this is a fully functional prototype. So if you want to do this before actually building out an app, it's a great way to do it. But uh, yeah, it was that simple, really easy to do. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, if you learned something from this, um, and especially if you want to see this turned into React Native, which I could work on later this week or early next week and get that out. So let me know in the comments below, like, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.